Television's original automotive magazine. Your host for Motor Week, John Davis. Well, hello and welcome again to Motor Week. We're glad to have you with us. If the auto industry gave an award for unsung hero, then the Nissan Altima would be a good candidate. Introduced in 1993, this competent family sedan not only outsold half the cars in its class, but single-handedly rescued Nissan from becoming an also-ran import brand. Yet while a sales success, the American-made Altima garnered few industry awards and little public acclaim. So when it came time for a new Altima, Nissan faced a dilemma. Listen to loyal fans and tinker carefully, or go for a big boost in visibility. Well, they decided to try a little of both and followed an evolutionary design process that gives the 98 Nissan Altima a more mature upscale appearance, not unlike the Maxima, yet still maintains the basic flowing design that made it so popular in the first place. A move to keep the nearly 800,000 satisfied Altima owners coming back for more and one intended to catch the eye of the new buyer as well. And the new Altima is easy on the eyes. The slightly raised creases that run from the outside edges towards front and center give the hood a distinctive concave appearance. The tall, expansive greenhouse incorporates a sharper raked windshield that helps lower the drag coefficient to a very respectable 0.32, but remains firmly anchored at the rear by the familiar broad base C pillars, a look essential to keeping the car's original character intact while the slightly upswept trunk lid and taller taillights hint at a personality ready to be seen in a more dignified light. Its enhanced dignity can also be attributed to its larger size, as the Altima has grown 2 inches in width and 3.4 inches in length while keeping its 103.1 inch wheelbase. Surprisingly, it handles the added bulk with a plum and deftly sidesteps the gangly stage commonly associated with adolescent growth. Nissan's passive rear steering super tow control combined with its independent strut type suspension enhances quartering precision, while a track that's been widened 1.6 inches front and rear and a 20% stiffer chassis do wonders for stability, especially on rough pavement. Behind the new oval grille with its bold horizontal signature bar is the Altima Soul power plant. The 2.4 liter dual overhead cam 16 valve four cylinder resides in a rather poorly organized engine compartment. And while its output remains unchanged, producing a class leading 150 horsepower and 154 pound feet of torque, the engine itself has been carefully massaged. Lighter pistons reduce crank and camshaft friction and changes in valve timing all serve to bring more power to the lower RPM range and to quiet the buzzy nature inherent to most four bangers. The changes weren't quite enough, however, for our power-hungry test drivers who could be heard muttering, needs a V6 under their breath. Nevertheless, our four-speed Autotrans Altima GLE posted a decent zero to 60 time of 10.4 seconds. But we later tried an Altima SE and the same engine with a five-speed manual quickened that pace by a full two seconds. Optional anti-lock brakes brought the Altima down from 60 and a stable, if fairly long, 135 feet. But its firmer pedal feel prompted one staffer to note, this is the way all ABS pedals should be. But it's not until you look inside the family-sized Altima that you begin to really appreciate the upscale refinement and attention to detail that makes this car Nissan's bestseller. The leather-wrapped tilt steering wheel fronts a new tasteful dash that forsakes the original Altima's dated linear roots in favor of a softer, more organic look. Both airbags are the new deep-powered design. A large white-on-black speedo and tack anchor the straightforward instrument cluster with small rectangular fuel and tip gauges on either side. The standard leather-faced buckets in our top-of-the-line GLE were extremely comfortable and offered excellent support. The driver's side comes with an eight-way power seat with adjustable lumbar support. If you can't get comfortable in this seat, see a doctor. Just to the right and within easy reach are the practical and well-marked climate controls. And right below is the 100-watt AM-FM cassette CD stereo with its six speakers placed strategically throughout the cabin. In terms of performance and ease of use, this is one of the nicest stereo systems we've seen in some time. But it is the small touches, like the wood grain insert that surrounds the center dash controls and shifter, and the leather accents in the doors, 
that always made the Altima seem richer than other family cars in its class. And there are detailed changes that enhance this car's exceptional value, like the cup holders moved to the center console where they no longer block stereo and climate controls. The additional 2.2 cubic feet of interior space provided by the larger body dimensions is most noticeable in the rear of the Altima. Those destined for the back seat will appreciate the increased head and shoulder room. All models, with the exception of the entry-level XE, now come with a 60-40 split folding seat back. The wind folded reveals a still smallish pass-through. But on the other side of that opening is the cavernous cargo area. At 13.8 cubic feet, this trunk is a dream for the packing impaired. The low liftover and high swinging lid will make it easy on their backs as well. And you won't strain going for your wallet either, with the base model XE priced at a mere $14,990. The more performance-minded SE lists for $18,490, while the almost sumptuous GLE carries a sticker of $19,890. Our test model peaked at $21,158. So family car value tops our list of hits, followed closely by high interior content. Excellent ergonomics and the new refined styling are also in the plus column. The lack of a V6 engine leads our slate of misses, along with a poorly organized engine bay and a cramped trunk pass-through. But a competitive price, it's cheaper than a comparable Camry or Accord, combined with its improved quiet ride, smoother engine and loads of features, makes the Altima an impressive family car. And it's plain to see Nissan is putting a new spin on an old cliché by making sure that what you get is much more than what you see.